I was having marital problem and my family have nobody that wedded I'm the only person a man came and paid that rate and wedded me and since 10 years I've been passing through these challenges in my life and some people confess I died for seven years ago I thought the matter was over but it didn't keep persisting and yesterday I even forgot that we have program here Pastor William in Kechina called on me and said Hello, where are you there? Eventually you came. And I came yesterday. So what happened? As we were praying yesterday, it was like I carried an heavy load inside of me when mommy was teaching about the satanic mark. Mm. And when I was going, I want, when she was teaching, I was crying. Everything is said, I said, it's me. And suddenly so something happened? just what came happened? out of my body. Wah! And wait, I, wait, wait. How did the thing go out? From my Wah! head to my toe. Wah! Somebody said, Wah! Anything remaining in anybody's body will go today. <laughs> and when I got home, I don't have the program because I have plenty of money, so I couldn't get the program. And I copied the prayer points. And when I got home, I was praying in the night. And this morning, I fasted and I said, My enemy must die. So this early morning, wait now, wait now. This early morning, somebody called me from our village. That there, there, there was a girl who always dropping me in that village. It's my mother's sister. And he said she confessed yesterday. Jehovah. 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 What did she say? She confessed yesterday and said they are the ones troubling me that I don't want me to marry and after confession they were calling me to pray I said I have no prayer to pray and this early morning around 4 o'clock she died listen to me listen to me listen. wait 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 give her my husband Duro, Duro. wait 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 sit down sit down now you said Wait now! You said nobody in your family has ever married? No. You married yes, sir. 10 years ago. Yes, sir. And you are suffering all kinds of afflictions. Yes, sir. You came yesterday. Yes, sir. And why mommy finished teaching and said we should pray? You prayed yes, and sir. something left your body. Yes, sir. You went. 4 a.m. They called you. Yes, sir. That the woman was confessing. Yes, sir. That she's the one that had been behind all the evil. Yes, sir. And after that, wait now. You said after that, she fainted or she died. She died. I'm Dr. G.F. Oyo of God We Do It Ministries for Ayula Layout behind Bodija Market in Badon, Nigeria. Let us pray. Father, I ask that you will arise and fight for us. Give testimony to everyone today and let Jesus be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are continuing our study in the School of Deliverance and Healing. The title, Jesus' View on Deliverance. In the past, we have said a Christian cannot be possessed because a Christian is Holy Spirit possessed. The Holy Spirit cannot possess a Christian and evil spirit was also possess the same Christian. It's not possible. But we said a Christian can be demonized. To be demonized means there are areas you don't have power over. You don't want to lost, something forces you and draws you to lost. You don't want to visit pornographic site, something 
compels you to visit pornographic sites. At the end, you feel so dirty, so bad. You confess, you repent, you weep, you take three days fasting and prayer. After a while, you go back to it. That force, that pool, all is telling you you need deliverance from those areas. Because you're a child of God, your conscience tells you, this should not be in my life. But you couldn't handle it by yourself. And that's why the Bible says one person will chase a thousand, two will chase ten thousand. So there are cases where we need support, prayer support from people. As we continue our discussion today, I want to zero in on the fact that everybody should cast out devils. What I'm talking about today is everyone should cast out devils. When you check through scriptures closely, you looked at in Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Matthew 10, verse 1. When he has called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Verse 7. And as ye go preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, Cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Jesus came out here boldly. You have seen me cast out devils before. You have followed me when I cast out devils, when I raised the dead, when I did different miracles. Now is your turn. And the Bible says the disciples of Jesus went cast out devils. Brethren, Jesus never sent anyone out to go to preach without equipping him or her to cast out devils, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed. In Luke chapter 10, a very sweet story. Luke chapter 10, verse 1. After this thing, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whether he himself will come. Verse 2. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Jump to verse 17. And the 70 return again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Jesus cast out devils. The twelve went cast out devils. And one day he came. All ushers come beside. Choristers come. Prayer band members come. How many are you? Seventy. Said so today, people are going to cast out devils. What you have seen me do, what you have seen the twelve do, you go do it. Go two by two. Bible said they came back. I wasn't there, but I suspect Jesus wanted to give them some refreshment. Drink something. So God, wait. Let me tell you what happened. Demons were subject in your name. We said, come out, and they were just falling. Jesus would have smiled and said, I beheld Satan. I saw what happened from here. I can't send you to where I cannot be. I saw all that happened. Listen to me. If Jesus cast out devils, the twelve cast out devils, the seventy cast out devils, it means there's something special with the aspect that the believer should be involved to confront the enemy and send him out of your family, send him out of your house, send him out of your life. In Mark chapter 16, Mark chapter 16, and verse 17. Well, let me begin from verse 15. Mark 16 from verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. In my name, they will cast out devils. Verse 18. 
They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, you shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Never forget this all your life. If Jesus are cast out devils, the two have cast out devils, the 70 cast out devils, and he said you should cast out devils. Either you cast out devils, or devils will cast you out. Either you cast them out, or they will cast you out. That's the truth. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, that Lucifer, with the angel that bowed to him, the, were thrown down. The book of Revelation said as a bottomless pit. So which means Satan is falling, we keep falling, and so on. The day you gave your life to Christ, you made up your mind that Jesus is coming to your life. You became a child of God. You started a spiritual journey to meet your master, your creator in heaven. That spiritual journey. Bible says rapture will happen one day, we'll be taken up. If rapture didn't come and God decided to call someone to glory, the person goes up straight to the maker. So as you are going up, devil is coming down. Somebody will cast out somebody out one day. Something will cast out something out. If you fail to cast out devil, devil is going to cast you out. If you decide to say no more, then God shows up on your behalf. I did a meeting three years ago and I mean, Portacot, I just came out of the first, the morning session, and this lady ran after me. The driver stopped, and she said, Sir, we were six, all of us female, children of same parents. Not one person was married. And you know, when the first one is about 40, and the last one is about 28, and not one married, he said, someone said, we should come and meet you for prayer. We came to your season of change, which you do every last Friday, 6 p.m. to 2 p.m. Sunday in Ebado. We went through the prayer and we confronted whatever was confronting us. He says, after that prayer, five are wedded. By the time she shared her testimony, that you mean, in, the, in fact, anyone under the sound of my voice who is under any form of captivity, I terminate that power and I release you today. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Shall go and break. When we come back, it shall be fire. God bless you. Are you seeking for a place you can call home? A place of comfort and security? Or you are an investor seeking for an opportunity to invest in real estate? Search no more. Glory Estate presents an opportunity for you to own a plot of land for just 600,000 naira with an installment plan of 700,000 Naira at Alabata Ibado. Glory Estate is located in a very conducive environment, good road network throughout the estate, gated and secured environment, perimeter fencing is ongoing, electrification is ongoing, and it is the largest in Ibado. Visit us today at Kilometer 2, Elekuru Ijokodo Road, Alabata Ibadan, or give us a call on 0813-019-7366 or 0806-009-2990 or 0810-005-2653. Send us an email at info.gloryestate at gmail.com. We have 5% referral bonus. Glory Estate, now you are home. Praise the Lord. I'm Dr. GF for your God with Dead Ministries. You are welcome back. We are continuing our discussion on Jesus' view on deliverance. Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20. Matthew 28, from verse 18 to verse 20. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, 
even unto the end of the world. Jesus said, the teaching of healing and deliverance should be unstopped. It should continue. Everyone should know about it. Children should be told. Everyone should cast out devils. Everyone should say no to the enemy. And once we all understand that, that will be fine. One day I finished a service. Many people wanted to see me. And this brother told me a pathetic story. The wife gave birth. For two weeks, they are giving the baby, the boy, four pints of blood. As they put blood in, it then disappears. Almost every other day, two days, they must put another pint of blood. And it was terrible. When he finished his story, I said, can you get anointing oil and handkerchief, let me pray for you. And you go and minister to your boy. It was in university teaching hospital here in Nevada, on oxygen and everything. And this brother felt disappointed because he wanted me to follow straight away to go and cast out the demons and so on and so forth. The boy had never preferred for since he was born. Brothers and sisters, I pray for the oil, pray for the handkerchief. I said, Paul. The Bible says, handkerchief from Paul, Acts 19, heal the sick. James 5, verse 14, says, when we are praying, we should anoint those who are sick with oil. You are a believer. Go and do it. Brethren, this brother went straight to the hospital, anointed the boy, and left. Put the handkerchief and prayed. And as he was in the bus going by, the wife called and screamed, Darling, come now. And his heart caught into two. You like saying the boy was dead. Said, driver, stop. He flew out of the vehicle. In fact, his phone fell inside the vehicle. Didn't even know. He took a car that rushed there, preaching that the boy was still alive. And he said, Why did you shout like that? You almost finished me. And the woman showed him something. He looked on the floor. There was a spider with fresh blood. What happened? He said, after you prayed and you left, I just felt this boy had been in this position for a long time. Let me shift him. As I tried to shift him carefully because of all the tubes, all the gadgets on him, I saw the spider between the boy and the mattress. Between the boy and the, I mean, the pillowcase. Or, no, what I'm just trying to say is, she screamed and said, this bed sheet, the boy had been lying on it. Now, this spider has been between my boy. And the spider wanted to escape. She struggled and killed it. When she killed it, mom blood came out of it. And she screamed, not only me we say this. That's why I called you. The brother looked at it. Few minutes after prayer, where did this spider come from? And which spider carries human blood? So they held their hand and prayed. Say, Lord, whatever this meant, our boy is delivered. Following morning, the professor came, the consultant, and all the student nurses and student doctors and student whatever followed as usual. Because they are seeing an unusual case where every two, three days, blood is finished, they have to transfuse. And then the man was shocked. He read what has happened since yesterday afternoon. Till today, all the recording by the nurses, by the... So he called the woman, the mother of the boy. He said, carry your boy, breastfeed the boy. Order the people to remove all the gadgets. They removed. After breastfeeding, the boy ate fine. And the man said, we can't explain what has happened. This is beyond science. We're going to still keep this boy for the next two days to be sure that we'll put him under observation. And when they did this child, the boy, to the glory of God, the man who wanted Pastor Yo to come and minister deliverance, minister deliverance by himself, and the boy was freed. 
Anybody can cast out devils. Anybody who have Jesus in you, you can cast out devils. If you think demons are so big, so mighty, bigger than your Jesus, as a man thinking in his heart, so he is. Some people feel, Pastor, if I lay hands, the demon may jump out and enter into me. Abba, we Holy Ghost inside you. Demon will have a place to see, enter on top of Holy Spirit inside you. Brother and sister, from today you can cast out devils. And I'm going to give you an assignment today. Right where you are, you will command the powers of darkness that have not allowed your miracle to manifest. You order them out of the way. When you pray that prayer, the God who can do all things will fight for you. Today is your day. May God deliver you. May God deliver your family. If you have not given your life to Jesus, I want to give you an opportunity today to invite Jesus into your life. Say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Set me free. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you pray that prayer sincerely and genuinely, join a living church near you and serve God. I'd like to pray with everybody today. Stretch out your two hands. Lord, I pray for all the listeners all over the world. The challenges and powers of darkness confronted them. Let all be humble today. And let there be divine intervention and let there be miracles. You are freed. Join my faith with you, and I command that those mountain dog hills right now be leveled. Whatever valley be filled, rock ways right now, I command you be made smooth. In the name of Jesus, every attack on enemy against you is destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Once again, I'm Dr. G. F. O. U. God will do it, ministries, Nigeria. Are you seeking for a place you can call home, a place of comfort and security? Or you are an investor seeking for an opportunity to invest in real estate? Search no more. Glory Estate presents an opportunity for you to own a plot of land for just 600,000 Naira with an installment plan of 700,000 Naira at Alabata Ibadan. Glory Estate is located in a very conducive environment. Good road network throughout the estate. Gated and secured environment. Perimeter fencing is ongoing. Electrification is ongoing. And it is the largest in Ibadan. Visit us today at Kilometer 2, Elekuru Ijokodo Road, Alabata Ibadan. Or give us a call on 0813-019-7366 or 0806-009-2990 or 0810-005-2653. Send us an email at info.gloryestate at gmail.com. We have 5% referral bonus. Glory Estate, now you are home.